We begin at five with a severe weather alert. Right now, a flood warning is in effect as heavy rains are moving through the area. Right now, part of Route 195 West in East Providence is shut down. As you can see, the traffic is being diverted. East Providence police are urging drivers to stay off the roads as numerous cars have gotten stuck. Driving could be dangerous depending on where you are. Several local streets are getting flooded, including here in Lincoln, where firefighters are helping these stuck cars in front of the Cumberland Farms on Smithfield Ave. We have team coverage tonight. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is standing by with where the storm stands right now. But first, let's send it over to Sheena Loshuto, who's live in Providence, where the highway is a mess tonight, Sheena. Exactly. A nightmare for drivers just trying to get home tonight. 195 is behind me. We're right at the India Point Park Bridge over in Providence, and we want to show you what we can see right now from our vantage point. Now, cars are stuck in that pond of water over on 195 West, and now there are miles and miles of backup. Right out crews are here trying to fix the flooding, and we're told even more crews are on the way. Now, here's a look at new video just into our newsroom from our crews out in the elements, giving you an up close look at what exactly crews are dealing with. Basically, a pond was here on 195 West, shutting it down. These were all the lanes that were shut down near exit two on 195 West. And the big message from authorities tonight is don't drive into the water. If you see something like that, turn around and save yourself from that nightmare that could be waiting for you. Now we at 12 News are keeping an eye on this closure. We were stuck in several downpours today as we were tracking these conditions all over the state. We were in North Providence, Providence, and now closer to East Providence. Every few minutes or so, we were caught in those terrible downpours drenching us, and then a few minutes would go by and then they'd come back. So Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka has really been tracking this for us all afternoon. And Tony, please tell us that we are soon in the clear. Well, 